Well, I think the way you have to look at Amazon is that Amazon is the big innovator in cloud computing. Obviously, AWS is uh, an, an amazing story. Healthcare hasn't had cloud computing, particularly in the pharmacy benefit management space before, until Rx Advance came out with the first uh, transaction automation platform. And so I think that uh, it may be a year or two before Amazon actually gets in. They either have to work with someone like us who has a, a transformative platform or they have to go build one themselves. But it doesn't exist in the PBM industry uh, today except with RX Advance. I'm not going to ask you whether you want to be bought by Amazon, but <laughs> is this something that given their arsenal of, uh, of money and intelligence that they could do on their own or not? I think it would be very challenging to do it on their own because uh, it's all about the deep domain expertise of this very granular healthcare industry that is largely shaped by special interests. I mean, a lot of people look at the traditional PBMs and say, exactly what is the added value that these middlemen provide, uh, given that they have no transparency in terms of the drug e economics? Uh, they don't tell anything about what the spreads are and how they make money. And I think if Amazon were to come into this industry, uh, that they would want to disrupt that. And they would want to take it, obviously, through the things they're very good at, uh, which is being able to move it into the pharmacies, into mail-order drugs and things of this sort. But uh, it's really an industry that is ripe for innovation, which is why we created RX Advance. So given everything that you're predicting, it sounds like, and if we do see this merger between Aetna and CVS, Amazon potentially entering the space as well, disrupting the whole model, is this all good for consumers? Well, it can be good for consumers because there's going to be, a, I think, by the government, a spotlight on the PBMs. Uh, in the case of CVS and, and, and uh, Aetna, uh, there are going to be questions asked, I think it will be approved, but I think there are going to be questions asked exactly what is the added value that these big middlemen who are largely opaque uh, really add at a time when drug prices continue to go through rapid inflation. So I think actually that spotlight will be good for the industry because it will put a higher priority on this industry needs to be disrupted. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.